Good work by Glavin to get the ball across the face of the goal like that. Machia, wide jungle collapse, same slow ball. Machia's got it back. Goal! One Carlos Machia. And it's a shorthanded goal with seven seconds left. On the Venezuelans for St. Louis with Galassi in the box. Exactly, Joe. Shorthanded goal. Carlos the defending champion, New York Arrows. Watch it again. And Steve Jungle again pulling the strings. He's your orchestrator, lays it off to Machio, comes forward from the back. And here's Jungle getting a shot. Slobo carrying that away, defending Nice on his line. Karasi getting that rebound. So important not to give away those rebounds if at all possible. The rebound on Fox went directly to the foot of Machio. He received it with the inside of his left, put it to his right, and put it to back. Two to one in the last quarter of the play in any period. I was looking for Glavin to pull that off along with John Hayes, but it just got away from the two. The top at 25 and 7, followed by the Spirit, the Blast, the Stallions, the Rockets, the Force, and the Fever. And now let me allude to that fact about the home field advantage for the playoffs. Okay. The top team from either the Eastern or the Western Division is going to gain that odd game advantage, that home field advantage, the odd game, if they have the best record. Now, the Steamers right now are one game behind the Arrows in the loss column, and the Steamers have played three more games than the New York Arrows, so you can imagine how important a game this is right now for the St. Louis Steamers. Exactly, Joel, and with our avid fans in the Checkerdome, averaging well over 17,500, it is a definite plus. 50-50 ball. Nice play by Carl. He turned the ball away from the on-rushing Steve Jungle. Hulser in front, winds up, shot, goal, Larry Hulser! Ties things up at two apiece. Perfect pass from Carl Rose as he found Larry Ulser in a four-on-three situation for the St. Louis Steamers. Good stuff by Larry Hulser. There you see Larry Hulser, former player for his present coach, Al Trosa McClurnor. Now here's Carl Rose coming forward, laying it off very nicely. Now Hulser toes this ball, Joe, which puts some difficult spin on a first shot messing. Nonetheless, he could have hit it with his instep. It would not have been stopped. So that's an equalizer. Larry Hulser scoring his 12th goal year. The farmer rookie in the North American Soccer League for the Los Angeles Aztecs. Larry Doesn't look good. Jungle shot. Blocked by a pick. Jungle again. He winds around. Slobo. Wide open. Chila. Goal. Chila put it in. I don't know if it went up Carl Rose or Slobo Ilyevsky. The Steamers were confused in their own end. It couldn't clear his jungle. And Slobo bouncing all over that penalty box area. And here's Jungle being marked up very effectively by Sam Beck. He wins the ball off Sam Beck, draws the top, pulls it back, lays it off a good one-touch ball to Chila. He hits it, deflects first off Gomez, then the foot of Slobo. So it goes in the back of the net, and the arrows go on top by a score of... been one team to be victorious over the Steamers twice this year, Joel, and that's the Buffalo Stallions. Don Ebert has it by himself in the right corner. In front, Sam Beck scores! Off a pass by Don Ebert. How do you do? Six seconds after I said the Seamers were in a desperate situation, they counter and were deadlocked at three apiece. Some good stuff by the Steamers as Don Ebert assisting now. Sam Beck coming forward. There you see Sam Beck. How can you boo your team when they're the top team in the league and they've been the champions the last three years? I can't understand this at all. There's Don Ebert knocking the ball Same against the post, That's against the near boards, season. I should say, and or Sam Beck coming up, Sam realizing Beck. that did not give up on the play. The play was firmly over. He was unmarked at the penalty spot, knotted it down, and now it's three each with and they first get himself free and then hit a real good shot at the near post. Steve Jungle against Craig Mikowski. Goes to the middle. Jungle. One-on-one. -on -one. Goal! Jungle! With eight seconds left. Oh, the Steamers had a great chance at the other end. It comes back and Jungle beats Mikowski on the left side as he reeled into the middle. Not much Mikowski could do against the MISL's top scorer. Here it starts all the way from the back. Gene Strenis for the Hungarian player, former player for their national side. And then here you see Steve Jungle. Even for the slightest moment, he's left on mark. And now Gray Mikowski gets back on him, but he's off balance. There's Jungle hitting the ball into the far post. And Slobo had to come off his line and come off the angle. He was one-on-one -on -one with Jungle. So Steve Jungle with eight seconds remaining. Scores for the arrows and puts them on top. Seconds left in regulation. Would you pass me that crying towel, please? <laughs> Jungle comes up with the goal at 14:52, and he got it on that long pass by.
by Gene Svenister after Tony Glavin almost put the St. Louis Steamers on top. Jungle getting his, believe it or not, 81st goal of the year. Took goal along with 44 assists for 125 points. The fans here at the Coliseum going crazy now, but every time the St. Louis Steamers scored to tie the game or take the lead, these fans were booing. In conclusion, I don't know if they deserve the New York area. <laughs> How many are here tonight? What, 7,500? Maybe 7,500. Well, it, it looks more and more like they won't be seeing them next year, Joe, at least not at this particular facility. We talked about it a bit earlier. Uh, Don Popovich, the Arrows coach, a former player for the St. Louis Stars, and St. Louis has done a very good job of melding this team, putting a difficult, you know, bring a very strong unit together. Uh, he's not getting much support from the community here. So they may vacate the premises and go to Madison Square Garden and put their schedule there between the Garden and the Meadowlands. Now there's that goal with eight seconds remaining. Here's it again by Jungle. He got the outlet pass from Strenisser. There he is, turning Greg Mikowski, turning him around. And then the last thing he does is go closer to the goal. He fakes towards the boards, comes back in towards the goal mouth, and he puts it in the back for his 81st goal of the year. And there you see Ty Keel going in the goal for the St. Louis Steamers. So eight seconds remaining. Arrows on top by a score of four to three. It appears it's an impossible task ahead of the St. Louis Steamers now, as you can see the scoreboard. Eight seconds left as Keo puts on the radiant yellow jersey, goes into the goal for the St. Louis Steamers, and the Steamers now will try to get one last crack at Chef Messi and the New York Arrows. Seven, six. Keo's got it four. In front, it goes down for Sam Vick. He pops it over the Sam middle. Vick to Eo. And it buzzer sounds as the New York Arrows defeat the St. Louis Steamers in what you call a real backbreaker.